2 Ezra 1640. O my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise, as he that hath no profit, buy it. And he that buildeth, as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth, as if he should not reap. So also he that planteth the vineyard, as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry, as they that shall get no children. And they that marry not, as the widowers. And therefore they that labor, labor in vain. For strangers shall reap their fruits, and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses, and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sin, saith the Lord. Like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and virtuous woman, so shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself, and shall accuse her to her face when he cometh that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out every sin upon earth. And therefore be ye not like thereunto, nor to the works thereof. For yet a little, and iniquity shall be taken away out of the earth, and righteousness shall reign among you. Let not the sinner say that he hath not sinned, for the Most High shall burn coals of fire upon his head, which saith before the Lord power and his glory, I have not sinned. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts, which spake but the word, let the earth be made, and it was made. Let the heaven be made, and it was created. And his word were the stars made, and he knoweth the number of them. He searcheth the deep and the treasures thereof, he hath measured the sea, and what it containeth. He hath shut the sea in the midst of the waters. With his word hath he hanged the earth upon the waters. He spreadeth out the heavens like a vault. Upon the waters hath he founded it. In the desert hath he made springs of water, and pools upon the tops of the mountains, that the floods might pour down from the high rocks to water the earth. He made man, and put a heart in the midst of the body, and gave him breath, life, and understanding. Yeah, and the spirit of almighty power, which made all things, and searcheth out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Surely he knoweth your inventions, and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin, and would hide their sin. Therefore hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works. He will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men. And your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will you do? Or how will ye hide your sins before the Most High and his angels? Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities, to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. 
for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, the Most High Power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel through. It is left undressed, and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. <laughs>